Hello and welcome back to the Apocalypse. I'm Vormithrax and this is episode 72 of our Let's Play tutorial for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. And I'm back at base, magically teleported. Uh, not really, I drove back to the home base from the last place we were at. So just to show you what's up, last episode at the end we were over in Bucksport. We had just finished looting all the stores in Bucksport. We had a bit of fun running down a whole crowd of zombies out front with our nice armored vehicle. Um, once we got everything looted out, I ended the episode there, and what I did on the way back, I just hopped in the vehicle, drove back up this way, and it occurred to me that there was a gas station we hadn't hit up here, so I swung by it and I double-checked, and it's got about 160 liters of gas. And uh, other than running a few zombies over in that area, I just checked the gas gauge in the... Tu or in the uh, gas pumps and then I took off again came back to the base so we're gonna make it a priority to go back to that point when we leave in our vehicle we'll gas up there fill up our uh, 200 liter steel drum again with whatever we can fit and uh, use that as our backup gas supply for our trip down south all right but made it back to base with no problem and I did the standard unloading we had a ton of stuff we had found an awful lot of good stuff in that run so we would hit a lot of buildings and uh, brought back a bunch of fun stuff so I got everything sorted into the various piles a um, couple things I want to mention uh, we do now have some more books that we need to get re reading on so I just want to do the initial reading while it's light so we can see what kind of skills we might gain so let's go ahead and do that so anything in red I'm just gonna do a quick scan of so can bring barter bartering to six, pretty good. Next up, uh, becoming one with a Tau. All right. I don't think that told us much. Uh, trains martial arts, but it doesn't say much else. Let's go to Birdhouse Monthly and bring Fab Skill to one. So that's just a low-level book. Archery for kids. Whoops. Nope. Don't want to do that. I want the red books. All right. So that can bring survival skill to one. That doesn't help, but it does have some recipes we might not have had access to. We'll just keep going down the list. Survival under atomic attack. Okay, take a look at that list. So can bring your survival skill to eight. That's more like it. Okay, requires intelligence of 10. Only needs survival, so it'll take you from one all the way up to eight. That's an awesome range for a book. I don't usually see them with that far of a level range between uh, the required reading level or skill level and what it'll teach you. Um, pretty dry, so minus three to morale while you're reading it, but it's also got 44 crafting recipes, whole bunch of interesting stuff. We've got royal jelly in there, heroin. <laughs> Anti-parasitic drugs, fungicides, poppy painkiller. There's just tons of really cool stuff in here. Um, I'm kind of reviewing it right now. Cool. It's got a bunch of these survivor gear recipes. Lots of drugs. All right. So hopefully having that, we'll be able to use it both to raise our survival skill and have access to a bunch of recipes we didn't before. So that's an awesome find. And last one, National Weather Transcripts. That one's not so much a skill book, it's a quest item. All right, let's go ahead and drop everything back in the piles for now. So we got a couple of really good ones. All right, checking our skill list and our status is full health, no negative effects to worry about. Um, so Skill-wise, we're at Fab 10, that's great. And cooking nine, also great. Electronics is doing pretty good. I could do with another point or two there, uh, but we're going to have to find some pretty hefty books to get that any higher through skill reading. Um, let's see, first aid six is respectable. We definitely need mechanics up a bit, and computers is the last one. I really want to get the computer skill up. So, unfortunately, electronics to five. Electronics to five. Yeah, no computer books. And only electronics to five really on that list. Uh, it would be nice to get that higher. I also like tailoring higher. Tailoring and computers are, I think, the ones that I'm 
feel I'm being hampered by the most, computers we need for hacking effectively, and tailoring, I, I would really like to get that up higher, mainly because it allows us to craft better gear for armor and clothing. And uh, we're getting to a point where I need to really start focusing on that and uh, getting some higher level clothing and armor pieces. So the stuff we've got is making do for now, but we can get better protection for less encumbrance as we go up these uh, skill chains. So I need to start looking into that because I'm planning on getting into some pretty dangerous areas somewhat soon. So we might end up doing some grinding. Whether we do it before or after we do the big base move is going to be the question. So all right, so we know we've got some books to look at. I'm also going to chat with our NPC. I believe he's ready to train us again. So 63% chance. And he's going to train us again. So we're going to take rifles from 5 to 6. And we always get that message. That's fine. All right. Training rifles to 6 is done. And let's see. What else? Um, one thing I did do in between episodes, other than dropping everything in the appropriate piles and kind of doing a sorting job, is uh, I created another steel drum. We had enough spare steel chunks and uh, pieces laying around, and I had the electric forge available, so we're able to build these now. So there's one sitting in the trunk of our armored car, and there's one right here. This one has got the spare gasoline, so it's got 135 liters out of the 200 capacity sitting in there. And I've also completely filled the tank on our armored car, and we've got the empty that we're going to fill up at the gas station, or fill it as much as possible. And we're just going to continue doing that until we fill both of the uh, 200 liter containers and have full tanks in all of the main vehicles. Um, I still have not begun any modifications to the RV. We're holding off on that. So that's the gas situation. All right, so the mid-range plan is I want to go on a scouting trip. We're going to head south, southeast. Not sure yet whether we're going to follow the roads or just try to off-road it down this direction, but I want to get down into the Plainville area or maybe just south of it. So we're going to hope to find something... Eh, like maybe whatever's at the end of this cul-de-sac. We're going to drive around quite a bit, but I want to get down into this area and do some scouting. I want to get the map uncovered, see what our options are. Um, one of the reasons we're leaving is because of the fungal bloom that's in the area up here. So this fungal bloom right there is going to keep spreading, and it's going to be a very bad thing. And we've already looted most of the really useful stuff from the area, so we're just going to clear out. We're not going to deal with that. We're going to move somewhere else. I want to make sure where I'm planning to move to, there aren't even more of those things. So, we've got a long-range scouting run coming up. We're going to take the armored car, so we need to get it modified, get it fully loaded with what's going to take probably several episodes worth of uh, scouting run as we drive down there, uh, do a few loops to uh, fully uncover the map and see what our options look like, and uh, make sure we've plotted a clear path from here down to wherever we make a decision to try to park the RV. Uh, to build our new base. So, what are we going to do to get it modded? Well, I mainly want to get electricity via solar power. So, currently it's got full tank of gas. Um, the engine is standard gas engine right there. So 6.5 liter V8 engine. I've got the UPS compatible recharge station installed, but I don't have any storage batteries for the electrical uh, batteries to install. So we're going to need storage battery cases, storage batteries, and all the solar panels I can fit on this thing. So I'm debating throwing an electric motor in it, and if we've got a surplus of electrical energy, we can run it off the electric motor and then switch to the gas engines when we need to. So I'm going to wait to see just how much or how many solar panels we can get onto this thing uh, before we do anything else. So I'm going to strip solar panels off of every other surface, including the RV, to get this thing ready to go. This will be our main vehicle for a little while now. Once we decide to make the trip down south with the RV, then I'll start figuring out how to balance the solar panels, and hopefully we'll find even more while we're making our trip south. Um, so that's the plan. So I've already stripped down everything over here, so these vehicles don't have any. I'm going to probably take these off as well. I won't need base electricity while I'm gone. So I'll go ahead and pull the solar panels off of these positions. We're going to pull the solar panels off of the RV. And then we're also going to disassemble and strip down the solar panels we've got in our automobile pile. 
So that's the plan. So let's leave these up for last. And let's strip the RV first. So RV's got the panels back here. So we got a slightly damaged one. So we'll remove that. That one's completely busted. We'll pull it off. There's a good one. I think I just got a morale too low message. Yeah, we're out in the rain and our morale's fallen. Um, hmm. Let's eat some goodies and we'll have some cookies, some toastums. I'm looking at the joy column there. Looks like marshmallows are good. And maple syrup candies. Alright, so that will help offset that. And I'm trying to remember if we've got an umbrella in our piles down here. We'll go all find umbrella. Nope. I don't think I ever bothered to pick one up. I think I did see one somewhere, but we didn't pick one up. I probably have rain gear somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so back to this, see if it'll let me do this now. So remove, okay, remove, all right, and, oops, I didn't mean to remove the board there. Um, probably won't let me put it on because I don't have the welding gear and such. Yeah, I need to get the protection there. Um, we'll just leave it off for now. We'll do a complete overhaul of the RV before we move anyway, so. All right, anything else I want to pull off this? Um, I've got electric motors already pulled from other vehicles, so I don't need to worry about that. I think I've got enough batteries and cases as well, so I'm not going to pull that off of the RV. But I think that's it. It doesn't come with that many solar panels on it normally. We're going to just plaster the roof with them before we take off from this area. But I think that is everything we need for now. Yeah, there's the storage battery. We don't really need it. Okay, so that's it. Let's just grab what we can here. Alright, a little heavy, but not a problem. I'm just going to drop all of it, except for the raw materials there, right into our car parts pile. Raw materials go up here. Alright. So that is... All of the solar panels except for what we've got running our network. Let's go ahead and pull those off as well. I can actually do that from here. So we'll examine the network and we're gonna pull that solar panel, pull that one, and pull that one. Alright, so there's no passive power generation for our network now. I've got a bunch of storage batteries here. There's two of them fully charged. Or actually, there's three of them in that one alone, so there's four fully charged ones and some partials. Um, but I'm not anticipating needing a ton of power. I do need to move the forge onto the UPS space, though. So I'll move here, and from that space to that space, we want the electric forge moved up. And let's make sure the recharger is on it is all right so that may drain whatever power is in the network that's fine i'll just throw a battery on there if i have to uh oops how did those end up in the wrong pile so there to there all right so all of the solar we've got is now right there let's um take a look so four solar cells I think first thing I'm going to do is break down all the damaged solar panels. So let's pull those out into a separate file, a separate pile. So we're going to do uh, find solar panel. So that's the list. Grab all of the ones that are damaged. Too much there, right there. So we'll stop there. We'll just drop them right here where I'm standing. This time we'll do it the smart way. All right, so there, there, and there. 
All right, so we've got nine good ones. That by itself might be enough, but I want to get these repaired anyway, so... Oops, we actually need the solar cells as well. That's what's going to end up being uh, left over when we disassemble these solar panels from this space. Okay, so what's next? Let's try picking up one of these solar panels. We'll grab that one. That one right there. All right. So I'm going to try to disassemble this, and it tells me I'm possibly going to get two power converters, two amplifier circuits, 12 solar cells, and some copper wire. We're going to say yes to that. All right, you fail to recover the converter, fail to recover the amplifier circuit, fail to recover the solar cells. That didn't go so well. Looks like we got the copper wire. Um... We got some of it, so it apparently is individual pieces that you've got a chance at, so... Alright. But we can't really use them for anything else anyway, so I'm just going to keep grabbing these heavily damaged ones and risk disassembling them. Is this raising our elect... I don't think disassembling raises electronics. I want to say it doesn't. I'm at 9% into uh, past level 7. We'll uh, see what happens here. Time is going by also. Not quite an hour. I learned a recipe, failed to recover some. Man, I'm, almost, I'm failing on almost all the solar cells, which is the thing I want the most. But, not much I can do about it. I don't think. can't remember. Was there... Eh, I could get my electronics to 5 before doing this. Wait, I'm at electronics 7. So why is it showing... Oh, that's right. Yellow just means they have recipes. So, gotta look at the blue. Yeah, nothing I can do to raise the level. So, alright. Next one right there. We'll take both of those. Disassemble. All right, how are we doing on the pile? Still got a whole bunch. We still got seven more to go. We're burning some daylight. Let's uh, go get something to eat and drink. I'm actually going to cook something. We haven't cooked in a little while. Got some food thrown in the back of the car for our next trip, but uh, we're going to have to reorganize that. All right, so here... No. There, I've got the filter on, so it's not showing me anything. And right there. So we'll just throw a couple of sticks on the fire. And light it up. Alright, what's on our food list that's good? Um, Cullen skink. <laughs> We've got dehydrated fish, apparently. We can make some Cullen skink. 40 nutrition, 4 portions, 8 quench, 3 enjoyability. It's going to take water, powdered milk, and dehydrated fish. Huh. Well, I can make that any time. That's not using any of the stuff that's going to go away. Cooked meat. I've got chunks of meat. Are they still good? Got rotten apple cider. Anything else rotten? Bologna's gone rotten. Uncooked TV dinner's gone rotten. All right, so we've got a few things in the rotten pile. Let's uh, pull those out real quick. Into the fire. We'll just toss them directly in. All right, back to the list. Food. Um... I don't think I have anything that I'm really worried about going bad, so let's just cook some stuff up. Sushi rice, 36. That's an awful lot of ingredients for that amount of nutrition and enjoyability. Let's go ahead and make that Cullen skink. That just sounds fun. Can we make more than one? We can make two of them. Let's do... Yeah, let's do both of them. Just use the standard water. Go ahead and consume, 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 one more, and 
Apparently this has to go into a container. We'll pour it into a container. Um, let's throw it in a glass jar. Alright, and then we'll just drink some water. Okay, we're full and slaked. We're good to go there. Let's keep disassembling. I think I can disassemble in the dark. I'll grab those three. Inventory. Disassemble. Can't see to craft. Guess you do have to have light. Let's just... I'm loath to turn the headlights on because that'll put a pretty heavy drain on the battery. Uh, what power we have left in the network. Yeah, we're down to 26%. How's our forge doing? It's back up to full, so let's grab it. Drop it in its pile. Alright, um, let's do, probably just our atomic nightlight would work. Put that in inventory, we'll grab the atomic nightlight, come back down here, and we've got to activate it. Alright, light so. So, it's only shady light now, so I think that'll be enough to do this disassembly. Oh, we need a soldering iron to disassemble? I didn't realize I was burning soldering iron charges. Huh, interesting. Yep, apparently so. Alright. Just drop these for a second. Um... I'm not carrying it, so it's been using the soldering iron probably there. Yep, so let's throw that on the UPS. Won't take long for that to charge up. We'll just wait 30 minutes. And grab it. Alright, let's do this again. up to 61 solar cells, so we are getting some back. Let's do one last check. I think I got, what, four more? I don't think we'll get through all of these before we run out of charges again, but we'll give it a try. Yep, ran out of charges again. Okay, I think that's every one of the charges, or the solar panels now, so we've got a big pile of parts. So, let's take a look at the recipe to build new ones. So if we bring up a search for solar, we've got solar panels, a solar panel CBM, upgraded solar panel, the solar array, and a reinforced solar panel. So, pretty much everything starts with solar panel. Um, if we wanted to do a solar array, it's going to need solar panels. So if we can get 12 solar panels, 6 springs, and the welder, we can put up a solar array. Which is a dozen solar panels set on a chassis reaching several meters high. It keeps the fragile panels safely away from any potential threats and improves efficiency due to being able to track the sun. However, this comes at the cost of being prohibitively heavy. So yeah, it's almost 600 pounds. So really heavy. Um, I don't think I've put solar arrays on a vehicle before. Um, we'll have enough that we could put an array on. I'm just not sure how that would work, having a solar array sticking up off the top of our vehicle. <laughs> Sounds kind of unwieldy to me, but uh, I think it's possible. So upgraded solar array and reinforced are different. Upgraded 
you've got to have upgraded solar panels and uh, I don't think I've got the recipe for that or the skill possibly I might be missing. Reinforced is just gonna give them more durability so they're not as prone to taking damage. Um, so it produces slightly less power than a normal panel. It's useful for a vehicle. So maybe we go reinforced panels? But we need panes of reinforced glass for that. I have no idea how to make that. Let's see if I even have a recipe for it. Oops, that's not the right spelling. Alright, so pane of reinforced glass. All we would need is a sheet of glass, which apparently we've got somewhere, at least one of, and uh, some super glue and wires. Wires are no problem. Um, hmm. So think about this. I think I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to build standard solar panels, see how many I can fit on top of the vehicle as it is, and we'll make our trip with that arrangement. When we come back and look to do the big move, then I'll spend a lot more time pondering just how to arrange everything between the two vehicles. But for the moment, I don't want to dive too deep into this rabbit hole. Uh, and spend so much time just staring at those screens. So we're going to hold off on that. All right, so we do have a bunch of solar cells laying here. I do want to make the standard solar panels. What time is it? 4.16 in the morning? Um, I'm debating waiting a couple hours for the sun to come up or doing some reading or something in the meantime, but uh, let's look this up real quick. All right, so standard solar panel, that's what's needed. We've got all of this sitting right here where we're at from everything we just took apart. We need the soldering iron still, and it's going to take uh, 50 minutes per panel. So it's going to take some time, and it's 12 solar cells per. We've got, what, 96? That's, what, eight panels? That'll give us 17 total. That's a pretty respectable number. If they all succeed, let's um, let's try to build one real quick and see what happens here. All right, so we successfully crafted it. Hank was watching us, so he gained some skill up as well, probably. Let's take a drink out of our canteen and why is my vision so low? My wearing. What's on my head? Just the firefighter helmet. Why is my vision obscured? Oh, it's because I've got the nightlight. I've got the atomic nightlight ruining my night vision. So, question answered. Alright, so not too tough to build. I'll run out of charges again in the soldering iron. But let's just tell it to build another one. Oh. We failed, but we don't waste any materials. How's our skill doing? We're at electronics 22% now, so we are getting experience for this. Try again. Alright, it was successful. Try again. Successful. And we need to get something to eat. Let's eat... Um, from our... Cullen Skink. One more should do it. Alright, we'll full a little bit of thirst, so we'll have some water. Alright, we're good to go there. We're getting tired. Let's keep building them though. Whoops, need soldering iron charges. Failed, but didn't waste anything. Failed, but didn't waste anything. <laughs> Failed. <laughs> Alright, made it that time. Made it that time. Failed again. We're going to burn another entire day just trying to get through this. How are we doing on parts? We're at 24 solar cells, so two more tries. Made it and made it. All right, so we should be about out. So, yep, so we got seven solar panels built. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
I can't remember how many we disassembled, but I think we got the majority of them uh, rebuilt in perfect condition, so I think that was a real good trade-off. So we'll do from here, turn off the filter up to there, oops, like so, and move everything. All right, so in our pile now, we search for solar panels. We've got 14 solar panels. Why they're in two different piles, I'm not sure. But we've got 16 total solar panels. So, good number. Um, where are we at time-wise? Been running a little longer than I was hoping to get that part done, but so far we have stripped everything out. So now I need to figure out how many solar panels we can install and pull some battery cases and figure out how many battery cases and storage batteries we want to install. Let's go look at our car real quick before we move anything. Alright, so our vehicle, I'm still looking at what to do with these back seats. Two seats will be enough for this trip. I'm not planning on picking up any other NPCs and I'll deal with it if it happens. Um, but, so I've got these three spaces I can do things with. We've got the UPS recharging station. I'm trying to think if I might want to take or install a kitchen unit. Pull the kitchen unit out of the RV temporarily, put it here. That way we would be able to uh, cook off of the electrical power the car is generating while we're out and about traveling. Um, so I'm seriously considering that. I'm not going to worry about a refrigerator. Most of our food is preserved, so we don't have an issue there. But I'm thinking maybe a kitchen unit. So if I pull the seat out of here, put a kitchen unit in that seat, and then maybe two more cargo carrying, because we're going to want to take a lot with us, and if we loot a lot and want to bring it back, we'll need as much cargo carrying space as we can. We've got a fairly large vehicle with a heavy frame, so I think we can bear the weight. Um, and I'm not sure where it will allow us to install the batteries. We might be able to install it underneath the seats, or th there's various arcane rules for how and where you can put things, so until I drag them over here and start trying to install them, I, I'm a little unsure what it's going to do. So I think the plan is remove, 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 put a kitchen unit in, two cargo spaces, so let's get that done before we end the episode and finish the rest of it in the next episode. So back seat, all right, all three back seats are coming out. So remove seatbelt, remove seat, move over, remove seatbelt, remove seat, and same thing. All right, so they're all out. So let me go get the kitchen unit from the RV. Right there, kitchen unit, remove kitchen unit. Oh, I don't have a uh, tool with bolt turning. Did I not bring my... I think it's because I was in range over here of my toolbox, so it didn't need to be with me right there. So I've got the toolbox. All right, try this again. Right there. Nope, not the mini fridge. Kitchen unit. All right, kitchen unit's out. We'll grab it. Fine, fine. <laughs> Floating kitchen unit. Alright, and I'm going to install it behind the passenger seat right there, if it'll let me. So, install kitchen unit. Okay, there we go. And can I pick this stuff up? Uh, a lot of volume. Can I pick up two of them? Two? Nope. One? Just barely nope. It'll let me grab one, just because I can put it in my hand, so that's enough. So we'll move this, drop it into the pile. Whoops, that's regular materials. Oh, I'm still holding a solar panel. Alright, drop that in the pile as well. And the seat. Alright, and cargo carriers too. Yeah, gonna have to do these one at a time, or do the shuffle move. We'll just do one at a time. Alright, and we're going to install... Right, oops, nope. Oh, I'm probably going to need... I think... Yeah, I've got my welding equipment at the back of the trunk, so I think it'll count it there. So, install... Uh, it's not letting me put that in there. Why?
Cargo space. Oh, yeah, it is the welding tool. And all right, let's just drop this right here for now. We'll go get the other one. Then I'll get the welding stuff. Yes, poor guy. I know you're breaking your back. All right, so those are down. And grab the goggles and. UPS and the welder. Make sure I'm close enough to these. All right, so let's try this again. So right here, install, and now we've got the cargo space option. And right here, install, cargo space. All right. Let's turn off the atomic night light to get my night vision back. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So me and my buddy are in our seats. We've got the UPS recharging station right in between us, so it makes it nice and easy for me to drop things in that space and have them recharge while I'm driving around. We've got a kitchen unit that I can move to to cook things. I don't even have to move to it, really. I'm in range. Um, if I put another tank in the vehicle, I can fill it with clean water, and I can just drink directly out of the kitchen unit. So I think that's another thing we're going to do. So we're going to want to install... A tank. I don't think I have any. Actually, I can just install. This stuff hasn't been purified yet. Um, how to do this? Look at the car again. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the episode to a close right here. Um, you've gotten a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to finish up just a few more installations in between episodes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld on another tank. So we're going to have two tanks. Let's look at the details. So we've got two tanks currently, both completely full with gasoline, 60 liters in each. I'm going to add a third tank, and I'm going to fill it with clean water. And that way I can just drink directly out of the kitchen unit when I want a sip of water. And that'll give us plenty of water I won't have to worry about on our trip down. Uh, we'll just refill the canteen and such as needed. Um, so I think that would be a good move. So we're going to put a tank in. I'm also going to position and place the batteries, the battery holders, and the solar panels. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'll do that all in between la the uh, episodes because we spent this entire episode just moving things around, installing and disassembling things. I'm not sure how interested you guys are in that kind of process. Uh, at this stage in the playthrough, at least, we're on episode 72. You see me do this kind of stuff quite a few times. So just let me know in the comments if you do or do not have a strong opinion on... Uh, let me know if you have a strong opinion on whether I show or don't show this kind of activity. I don't mind recording it, but I just think that you guys probably aren't that interested in some of this. So you're probably just hitting the fast forward on it, possibly, and uh, we'll just kind of see. Um, but I'll do it between episodes, and you can let me know in the comments whether you'd rather me do it or not do it. So that's the plan, um, and that's it. So thanks again for watching, and uh, hit the like, comment, and subscribe options so I know how I'm doing. And I hope to see you in the next apocalyptic episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.